What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. So yeah, Mikhail from Thailand, South Africa. Uh, so guys, Garrick, early starts. That's all I can say. Let me show you guys the time. So yeah, I got up at 2, just waiting for my friends to come. So we can load up the van and move. Um, first priority, always live bait. You are, pff, no point fishing for Garrick without live bait most of the time uh, so yeah we're gonna head down to town one of the piers try and get some bait maybe hopefully mozzie's shed uh, whatever we can take load up in the tank and then yeah head down to the south coast so yeah guys I'll catch up with you once you got our bait yeah guys uh, bait collection is done uh, a bit late Hard to see it inside, but there's a few mozzies. Uh, I think one has one champion bus and one. And you what's that show me? Morning, morning. More water going inside. Luke and Poven. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Thank you, Sandra. Just to put it inside. So, uh, so now we need to rush to get to our spot. So, guys, just got to our spot. Uh, first priority getting the live bait secured in a way. Uh, just dig a hole, put a top. Add some water for the two aerators there. So they're happy, they're lively. Trying to put them out. So yeah, guys, I put my first sink out. Tackle using. I got my uh, Fathom, I think it's a 30. Technium medium. And yeah, guys, the water is good. A bit flat, there's a bit of color, but uh, probably able to get a fish. There's my mozzie. Show you guys a chase now. So guys, last year I tried to show you, but just in case you didn't see how I hook my fish. So without trying to damage it too much, as in uh, holding it too tightly. Sometimes it's difficult, but you want it to be as live as alive as possible. First hook, throw. Second hook, just under it, and that's all. It goes out. Then normal non-return clip, guys. So the water is. A bit up, especially in the front, but that just means the over the top is deep. I didn't throw far, guys, just over the lip. And yeah, I'm gonna slide the bait out. So we haven't seen how. Watch a clip. You unhook it so the side here is open. Then you have your swivel facing the water. You have your sole facing the water and then it's just a way of wrapping it around and around but you start from the left hand side when it's facing this you start from the left hand side well that's honestly with most clips some clips are the other way around but uh, 90 percent of the clips i've seen is that way and just a few times once you can feel it's free and going through hope you guys can see that it again and yeah it's ready to go so i'm just gonna wait for the swell to drop a bit especially in the front okay and that's my gap so i'm 
the lady swim in the water while I go up it onto the bank. It'd be very easy to slide it over if I went right into the front of the bank, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to use a side wash to let the bait fall. sun is there it's going to be a bit difficult for you guys to see but yeah guys starting with the wash uh, I'd say it's a bit of an art especially without uh, taking the bait out of the water all the time so I just got the rod horizontal I'm bobbing it slowly just letting the wash pull it into the water but it's going to pull it in the side on the side current but once it goes over this bank you just tighten up the slack and that's it you're done so guys with the heavy waves they get sorry with the big waves they get stop shaking the rod just let the wave follow through because those waves are what uh, actually tangle your clip just hold a bit of tension, don't give it really loose line. Once you give it loose line, that's also how the trace uh, tangles. So, sorry, the slide tangles onto your line. And small this out. Yeah, lie. Still just over. Well, on this side of the bank. And with this wave, it should be out. So, guys, you see, I do a combination of shaking the rod and walking back the walking back is to take up the slack caused by the current and yeah it's out as you can see now guys i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it but my line is straight whatever current there was the walking back and really helped so we'll put the line straight once the bait got over the lip. Yeah guys, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, I don't slide my bait all the way down to the clip. Uh, so I've learned it. It's worked for me, maybe it'll work for you. But uh, once it gets over the lip into deeper water, we can swim freely without the slide getting tangled. That's where I leave it. I allow it to swim down to the clip possibly come back up but not really with a long return uh, but yeah most of the time especially early mornings you're getting feet right in the front guys there's no point uh, sliding your bait all the way down but yeah let me set the drag put the rod stand guys okay, looks like Sashin just had a bite and it should be on yeah, I'm just helping uh, Luke here <laughs> slide his bait out. Oh yeah, look, you know how to set it up. Tight boy! Tight boy. <laughs> so guys, in case I never introduce him properly, and we got Sash. Morning guys. <laughs> first first trip, first bait. First Garrick. Can see breaking water there. Yeah. That's a good sign guys, good sign. I know there's a big garrick around. The one I saw in Torti, lugs, big garrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screamer. Hey, the rod went flat. You never see. All I could see from there, you're just running and coming. Oh, 
video call ma bro. <laughs> so he's just running with the current, going left. The short ramp is a bit up. <laughs> I'll give you a lucky fight in the front. First, first, Garrick, take your time. Yeah. But I think his fish was on wrong time. From before. And yeah, possibly he was chowing, eventually got down to the clip. Yeah. So, guys, in the background, um, Sashin's wife has always wanted to see what he looks like <laughs> when he's fighting a fish. So, yeah, he, she's on video call there. And we got Poovan here, who was also recording. He's just waiting to put out his bait. And that's when Sashin's rod took off. So he's just on the bank now. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw it, I saw it. I couldn't see where there's like a fish spot. Who's getting tailing experience? I think you're not about it. So guys, one important thing, uh, if you haven't heard it before, especially with a bigger fish, well actually I'd say with any fish, never grab the line. Unless it's like sharks and you've got a thick leader, a thick trace, never grab the line. Uh, especially if you have edible fishing, wait for the fish if you need to. You can see now I'm getting into a bit deeper water, it'd be difficult for me to grab the fish. Wait for it, watch it, eventually you'll get your chance to grab it. It's coming. <laughs> was coming to say to me. I see guys, still got a lot of life. Grab it, and don't let go. Well done, bro! No, this one, this one. I'd say around seven kilo. Well done, bro! Thanks, bro. Oh, it was seven, Hundred. eight? Yeah, I'd say about seven. Yeah, maybe eight? Yeah, looking more than eight. Sir. They swallow us, bro. Thank you. Wait. <laughs> well done, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good fish, first one for the season. Open up. So guys, Garrick is really slimy. <laughs> Let's wash my hands quickly. How's the fight, Sash? Hey, that, that's how it's one thing. Normally, you know, you get those small Garrick. They come. Short, this short. Was sitting and it was holding you. It was holding you. I could see. It was drawing with the current up and down. Give you a luck of fight. He won't try you, don't you? They give you vying in the water to grab it, uh, poops. Yeah. 
Once you grab it, you don't let go. Gotta hold it. You wait for the right moment, but once you grab him there, you don't let go. Like say, I had to find my knees to grab it like her. But once you got yeah, it... I take you find your knees. Yeah. <laughs> no, because once it's there, you know, you have to make sure. Yeah, you can't... Uh... You get wet, you get dry. Well, what's the difference? Thanks, bro. No stop, no stop, no stop. Now guys, he ate the bait properly. See the hook is deep inside. Out. Carry hook, huh? Yeah. Oh, that hook also got him. No. Okay. Hello? Hi. So guys, the call continues. Okay. Did you catch? Did you catch the fish? Bought the fish. Oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> Make the oil hot, eh? Oil hot, masala. And who will clean it? I'll clean it when I come. Who will it, yeah? <laughs> I pose it like a bag in the front. Take my video. But yeah. Set up. Can't have it. Uh, bleed it, Tash. Yeah, bleed it. Thank you, sir. Hopefully. Poof! On! <laughs> <laughs> Ask him where we get it. It's the money. Put in the pot. What? 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 with the sea lion's bait conditions are ideal for like a pompano or something came off I was thinking of why it's coming slack so much but Sash you need to buy rake uh, lice now <laughs> we had a hard time taking lice guys Yeah, clean. Yeah, there was, there was, because I felt the initial bump when I picked it all up. Okay, short, short, short. The guy's been a long wait with not much uh, action. Uh, I decided to put on the second bait now. Like up as 12. Uh, well, the tide's starting to push. We're just trying to find a good spot to place the bait. And yeah, hopefully I get a fish.
guys managed to get in a good spot uh, more or less where I wanted to <laughs> enjoy throwing this reel it's been a while <sighs> so guys just in case earlier the angle was bad or anything I'll show you how I hook the bait again so you try not to hold it too tightly you don't want to kill it or hurt it in any way so I try and stop it from swimming in front of me go through so you go all the way through guys place it right on the side it's a good thing if it's as lively as it is the second hook just under let's see how it swims guys yeah let me slide it out this time instead of holding it from the top i'm gonna leave the bait towards the bottom uh, main reason being is it's new line and the line that's on the reel right now is dry so I don't want to chafe it in any way with the slide Guys, my other rod is getting a bite. I'm thinking it was a shark because I connected to it for like two seconds and it came out. So, yeah, guys, I pay my taxes. Let's see, but enough. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm getting back to sliding my bait out. <laughs> so the tide coming in now, everything can change guys. It's been dead for the past say four hours. And then yeah, eventually they're all got a bite. show you guys show again uh, how to make it easier how the loop forms where you see the first cutout of the loop that's where you start so previous the, so with the previous slide it was on that side here now you can see the first gape is here so that's the way you enter to the your slide in that's it Hopefully this bait causes a garrick, maybe a kingy, I wouldn't say no, but not this shark here. As for summer, summer is over, time to get some fish on the board. So guys, again, because of the current, I'm going to use it to my advantage and let the bait swim out.
guys, with live bait, there's no point spending so many hours of the day or morning trying to get the live bait and then when you're sliding it just to kill it in the short arm. Allow it to swim. If you just have it popping out the water all the time, it's gonna die, it's gonna drown. So allow it to swim through, treat it gently, especially in the dump. And once you get over once it gets over the dump, it'll swim fine. The main thing of Garrick fishing is live bait. Without live bait, yeah. There's no point having dead bait basically. You can throw a plug, you can throw a black bucktail, paddle tail, whatever. But if you're trying for them with live bait, live bait is key. Make sure it stays alive. And yeah guys, I'm done sliding. Guys, with the fishing being a bit quiet, got all the smaller rods, bait rods. Having some fun with the wave guy. <laughs> well done, bro. Beautiful sea guys, beautiful scenery, sun is just going down, ideal time for Gary to feed, uh, but it's time for us to pack up as well. So guys, it might get my bite after all, just hope it isn't another shark. Wasn't at the shop. <sighs> huh? uh, do me a favor, bring that the mozzie and come here quickly. Yeah guys, not too sure what happened there, but I got my hooks back, so it wasn't a shark, or either it was a shark that stole the bait, or Gary that stole the bait. We've got one more mozzie, so quickly I'm going to put it out. Guys, last part of light, currently. I was the only live bit in the water. We had one more mozzie, so I'm gonna quickly put this out while we pack up everything else. Let's see, hopefully, he comes back or if he has a friend with him, he takes a bait. So, guys, time to reel out <laughs> uh, that last ditch attempt to get a bite in the work. But considering it was only bait in the water, I had to try. Yeah, nothing so. So yeah guys, if you're wondering, I'm fishing the Winkle Spade area. 
hopefully you guys manage to get one as well even though i didn't get one but yeah i'll be back guys back where it started at home uh, decent day sir yeah decent day <laughs> doki tired but long. tired yeah, early long, start guys uh long, what uh, starting at two <laughs> starting at two we're back at home now it's almost seven uh yeah it's been a long day Oops. top day, top day. Yeah. enjoy catching monies yeah, <laughs> Good morning, seeing the Garrick, what not. Alright, guys, stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully, hopefully. No, get there will fish. be a next. Yeah, no, short, short, short. <laughs> must, must. Yeah, hopefully, get some more fish, guys. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And you can press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as I upload. Tight lights, guys.